what is up guys? Cryo back with another episode of the Nerd Core Hunger Games. Now I did re-record this just because I wanted to keep a slightly smaller roster and keep this series running fairly fast paced. So let's skim through this roster real quick. A few people might have nicknames so you'll see those when you see those like Mari's right here but let's keep it going. And yeah, I put myself back in this one just because, like, I know I'm not going to get a win, but I want to try anyways, damn it. I need my W in this series. Let's go. Bloodbath. Nina Hope overpowers Jacob Cass, killing him. Wild start already. Okay, so Nina overpowered Jacob, killed him. He's off the board now. Sailor runs away with a lighter and some rope. Huh. Unless she pulls a Kevin McAllister from Home Alone 2? I don't really know what she's going to be doing with that combination. Nikki tracks throws a knife into Galax's head? Bro was on his bullseye, on his bullseye tip right there, bro. What the fuck? Samurai and Ty Weezy fight for a bag. Ty Weezy strangles Samurai's flow with the straps and runs? That is unnecessarily violent. Wow, strangling him with the straps of the bag. Ooh, like a garot, basically. Oh, garot, however you pronounce that word. Next level retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. All right, he's on his, uh, on his Aquaman arc. Next level Momoa. Vice Records overpowers Oak Music, killing him. Mm. Gods the Dawn grabs a backpack and retreats. Okay. Shinky stays at the cornucopia for resources. Don't know how smart of a decision that would be, considering. But, okay. Staying behind. Frost snatches a pair of size. Gotta, gotta get the weapon. And size are actually really good weapons. Yeah, sure, you gotta be in close combat with somebody. But say they have, like, a sword or something. The prongs on each side of the size. You could catch a sword with that. And then take their weapon from them if you want it. Dizzy 8 breaks Geno 5's nose for a basket of bread for bread? Now look, I get it. Hunger Games, survivors need as much food as you can. But just for some bread? Okay. Sleepy Ash grabs a backpack, not realizing it is empty. However, might be empty. Throw some rocks in that bitch, hit somebody in the head with it, dead. Dead. Alright. Jonald bashes digs the prophecy's head against a rock several times? That's a brutal death, too. Like, the head against a rock. Bro is giving him that Poseidon treatment. Why? LL Soul, Kevin Bennett, and Callum B work together to get as many supplies as possible. That's smart. Small temporary alliance. Get as much stuff as you can before you either have to fight each other or... Yeah. Omega Red finds Rustage hiding in the cornucopia and kills him. <laughs> Omega's like, you ain't pulling none of that Assassin's Creed shit here, dog. Rustage, no. Get out the game, bro. Alright. Freest <laughs> sets an explosive off killing Professor Kuro. Kuro has died canonically in every single one of these to an explosive. Every single one I've put him in, he has been killed by an explosive. I believe the very first one, uh, Sleepy Ash, actually did it. Wow, Freest, Freest, man, Freest, they just caught a body. Freest, they really just caught a body. Alright, Pure Chaos Music finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Cryo gathers as much food as he can. You're damn right, bro, because I'm, I'm trying to live through this, and I need the food. I need the energy. Sam Sky and Jenny Chris fight for a bag. Sam Sky strangles Jenny Chris with the straps and run. People just getting strangled with the straps of the bags, bro. What the heck? JHB boss shoots an arrow into Ariel Ace's head. JHB boss must have named that arrow in that that bow and arrow combination Ariel Ace for him to not miss. Bruh. That was a cheesy joke, I'm sorry. Grayson grabs a jar of fishing bait while Peso Pete gets fishing gear. Okay. That's actually a smart thing to do because then it ensures you can continuously get food for yourself. So, that's smart. Matt stabs GXG Wolf while his back is turned. Why you have to sneak him like that? Why'd you have to sneak him like that? Alright, Smoke Boy Jones or Game Boy Jones convinces 
King menaced to not kill him, only to kill him instead. S tier manipulation, baby. S tier manip manipulation. Let's go. Surveyed runs away from the cornucopia. Young sheriff breaks Mari Mari's nose for a basket of bread. Again, I get survival, you know, you need it, but a basket of bread, really? KBN Crollo catches Jay Zen off guard and kills him. Jay, man, you can't get caught lacking like that, bro. You can't get caught lacking. Day one. Frost, Matt, Matt, Shinky, and Freeze form a suicide pact killing themselves? Huh? Each one of y'all had a serious chance of winning this. Why would y'all just do that? Why would you take yourselves out of the equation like that? But, uh, man, I, get, I, I, I get the stress of the Hunger Games. But there was a chance of winning. There's always, there was always that chance of winning. LL Soul makes a slingshot. Now, a slingshot's actually a useful weapon. It's mid to long range. It's silent. And you can do some damage. But, like, <laughs> is this a funny weapon to have in a scenario like this? Young Sheriff severely slices Geno 5 with a sword. Okay. Okay. Omega Red hunts for other tributes. Smoke Boy Jones strangles pure chaos music with a rope. Okay. Wow. Cryo, Kevin Bennett, Sam Sky, Callum B, and Moy track down and kill Grayson? It did not take four of us. Did it? It did not take four of us. Bo, why did we have to why did we have to 4v1 this man like that? Why? Grayson just got Grayson just got jumped. Grayson really just got jumped. I feel bad for that one. Holy shit. God's the Don is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Okay. Rice Records forces Sailor Your Love to kill JHB boss or Dizzy 8. She decides to kill JHB. Mm. Damn. Damn. Okay. Sleepy Ash injures himself. Ooh. Ooh. Got it. Can't be doing that, Sleepy. Come on. Alright, KB and Crollo, Nina Hope, and Next Level unsuccessfully ambushed Jonald, Peso P, and Nikki Trax, who killed them instead. Y'all thought y'all were gonna pull some Assassin's Creed shit on these guys? Look at Jonald's character. He he looks like a mob boss. Y'all were not about to beat him. And look at Peso's avatar right here, bro. Y'all were definitely not about to beat him at all. At all. And Nikki Trax is from New York, so like, you weren't beating him either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, survey decapitates Taiweezy with a sword. Took her whole head clean off, bro. Oh shit! Night one. God's the dawn sets up camp for the night. Cryo climbs a tree to rest. All right, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. Thank God. Jonald, Elo Soul, Smoke Boy Jones, Sailor Your Love, and Callan B sleep in shifts. Alright, they take in turns being lookouts. That's smart as well. Omega Red stabs Nikki tracks with tracks with a tree branch? Omega must have been on his kid Obito arc right here, bro. Wow, with a tree branch? Dog dog hit him with some Hashirama cells. What the fuck? Survey, Dizzy 8, and Sleepy Ash get into a fight. Dizzy 8 triumphantly kills them both. Hey, he clutched that 2v1. He clutched that 2v1. Oh, no, it wasn't even a 2v1. They, they were all fighting. All right, so he clutched that fatal, that, uh, that triple threat match. My bad. Kevin Bennett stays awake all night. Okay. Young Sheriff and Peso Pete run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Fair, fair. Rice Records destroys Sam Sky's supplies while he is asleep. That's always going to be a troll move in my opinion. Why would you destroy his supplies in his sleep when you could just kill him? You're just trolling. You're really just fucking with him at that point. Murray starts a fire. Okay. 27 cannon shots can be heard in the distance. We're just going to scroll through this. All right, let's go. Day two. Sam Sky makes a wooden spear because any weapon is better than no weapon. Peso Pete's trap kills Sailor Your Love. <laughs> Yo, my man, my man, my man grief dude, bro. My man really grief dude. <laughs> he caught her like a hit her with a hit her with a uh, minecart TNT trap kill, bro. 
<laughs> Gods the Dawn defeats Moi in a fight, but spares his life. All right, shows a little bit of mercy, keeps him in the game. Okay, Vice Records sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Honestly, might not be a bad idea, to be honest. Jonald falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Yo, Jonald, you, you put up a good fight, bro. You put up a good fight, but sad to say, this is how you're going out, buddy. This is how you're going out. Smoke Boy Jones receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. All right. Young Sheriff discovers a cave. Cryo injures himself. Look, as long as I don't die from that injury, I'm cool. Omega Red forces LL Soul to kill Kevin Bennett or Dizzy 8. He decides to kill Kevin Bennett. Kevin, bro. We'll get, we'll, look, man. We'll, we'll, play, we'll, we'll give you the Stone Cold Steve Austin like intro music to send you off to, okay? You put up a great fight, Kevin. Callum B dies of dysentery. Sad way to go out. Night 2. LSO accidentally steps on a landmine. Yeah, welcome to what I normally go through in these LSO. Vice climbs a tree to rest. Smart. Smart. Young Sheriff stays awake all night. Okay, Sam Sky, Smoke Boy Jones, and Murray sleep in shifts. Peso Pete climbs a tree to rest. Omega Red lets Dizzy into his shelter. Okay. Cryo looks at the night sky. That sounds peaceful for me. More peaceful than what I normally go through on this. God's the Don tends to his wounds. Five cannon shots can be heard. Sailor, John, Kevin, Callan, and L.O. Soul have all died this round. Young Sheriff and God's the Don work together to drown Cryo. No! God, please, no! 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 <sighs> it's not in the cards for me to win this series, bro. The simulator knows that, that that I'm I'm the one I'm the one running like running through this simulator. It knows it's me. It knows it's me. It's like nah, we're not gonna give you the win. Dizzy eight sobs while gripping a photo of his friends and family. Honestly, yeah, that's that would probably be what a lot of people would do in the Hunger Games. Vice Records shoots a poisonous blow dart into Smoke Boy Jones' neck, slowly killing him. Mori overpowers Omega Red, killing him. Peso Pete sets Sam Sky on fire with a Molotov. Peso out here wildin' with this. Mori tries to spear fish with a trident. He's, he's on his Aquaman or hashtag Mori Mimosa. Mori Mimosa, Mori Momoa, my bad. Peso Pete sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Okay. Gods the Dawn sets an explosive off killing Young Shiv and Dizzy 8. Vice Records injures himself. Vice sets up camp for the night. Gods the Don, Moi, and Peso discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Cryo died. Smoke Boy Jones died. Omega Red, Sam Sky, Young Shiv, and Dizzy 8 have all died this round. Day 4. Moi kills Peso Pete as he tries to run. Gods the Don practices his archery. Vice Records questions his sanity. Okay, I feel like in a Hunger Games, I think most people would. Gods the Don lets Vice Records into his shelter. Moi thinks about winning. The Fallen, Peso Pete is the only one to die this round. Vice Records dies from hunger. Wow, okay. Moi chases Gods the Don. Gods the Don tends to his wounds. Moi sets up camp for the night. Vice is the only one to die this round. Moi kills Gods the Dawn with a hatchet. Bro pulled out like the little miniature axe and said, you know what? It It is time. I'm on my Jason boy. He's Oric right now. It is time. Alright, so that means that the winner is 954 Moi. Congratulations to Moi on pulling up this win in the New Core Hunger Games. This has been probably one of my more favorite episodes, honestly. So let's go ahead, let's let's run through, see how many people got kills. Moi got four kills. God's the Dawn had three. Rice had two. Peso with five. Dizzy with two. Sheriff with two. Sam with two, Omega and Smoke Boy Jones with two. I had one kill, same with L.O. Soul, Callum B, and Kevin Bennett. Jonald had four kills. Sailor Surveyed had one. Nikki Trax had four. Ty had one. Nina had one. KBN had one. JHB, Freest, Matt, and yeah, they had one as well. No one else had any. 
Guys, thank y'all for watching this edition of the Nerdcore Hunger Games, man. Now, I'm going to be tweaking the rules a little bit because I did. What I was initially going to do is I was going to count features as well in, uh, in like, the new rules. Like, when I'm going to be making the roster based off people I've reacted to that month. So, I think unless it's ciphers, I won't really do features. Just because I do want to try to keep the roster size somewhat, somewhat small. Not up to, like, 60 or over 60 characters because then these videos get super duper long but anyway anyways guys thank y'all for watching we'll be back next month with another edition of the new core hunger games and until next time cryo out